we're going to cover how to choose and assign vocabulary sets. To access vocabulary sets, you can click on Assign Vocab Games here, or you can click on the Vocabulary tab up at the top. Here you can see that we have vocabulary sets by Zinc, and you can sort them in different categories. So we're going to click on Literature. You can also sort by grade, so we'll choose grade 11. This will show um, all of the literature tagged vocabulary sets created by Zinc that are grade 11. You can also see that there are vocabulary sets created by teachers as well. So we'll click on view to see the words that are included in this vocabulary set. You can actually click on the individual words and see what their definitions are. So what happens when I assign a set? When you assign a set of words to your class, we automatically divide that set into decks of 10 words or fewer. Our research shows that students learn best when they don't have to master more than 10 words at a time. Great, I'm ready to assign this set. Now I have some options. If I want to assign to the class or to individual students, you choose which one and then start typing in either the name of the class or the name of the individual student. You can type a note. So for example, we will cover this on Friday. And you can decide if it's an in-class assignment or homework assignment. Once you have the basics down, you can click on Assignment Options to go to the next page. Here you can make it required for the students to restart their deck after an incorrect answer and enabling or disabling the timer. Once you're ready to assign, you can click on the Assign button and it will take you to the assignments page where you can review the, the assignment that you just made. So here you can see the we assigned a vocab game and there's the name of the uh, name of the vocabulary set. You can see who you assigned it to and um, once the updating is complete you can see the date assigned notes and um, some other details. So I also wanted to show you what it's like to make an assignment for an entire class. So we'll click on assign choose the class name, type in a note if we want, decide if it's an in-class or homework assignment, and then you can see that you can set up different settings for different students by checking the boxes. So for the timer, uh, if you want some students to be timed and other students to not, you can make that option here, click assign, and you're good to go.